What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna talk about personal finances. Uh, so far we've covered uh, you know, expenses, monthly expenses, but we have now covered something really important and I don't think any shop management will do have done that or will ever do that. Uh, personal finances for the owner himself. And what I mean by that is how to become financially independent. I mean, you're making money now whether you're making a thousand dollars to 15, 20, 50,000, or even hundred thousand dollars a month. I'm sure if you don't have much money in the bank, you, I'm sure you've noticed one thing that no, no matter how much you make money, um, uh, you don't still don't have money. I'm going to show you a graph real quick. Um, this graph is going to talk about expenses and income. So this is your income right here, and this is your expenses right here. So if your income minus your expenses always equals zero, which is mean you're not saving any anything at the end of each month, no matter how much you make money, you're always gonna your financial wall is zero, and your status you're always gonna be broke. No matter how much you make money, I've already lived that so many times where no matter how much I made money, we're talking, no, I mean, it stops at 4,000. We're talking about, we know, I can give you an example if you want to talk about millions. Um, Alan Iverson made a hundred million dollars and is broke because he comes from, he came from a poor family and poor family, they use this model right here. Income minus expenses equals zero. Meaning whatever you make, you'll spend. And there's the other side, which is we call them cheap people. Usually they, they save the most and they barely spend anything. It's the guy that he doesn't want to eat a sandwich because he want to save it. We don't want to be this guy, nor we want to be this right here in the middle. No matter how much you're making money, who's, who's having this problem right now? That you, when you used to make two thousand fifteen hundred dollars a month, and your your financial wall is zero, you're not saving anything. Now you're making ten thousand dollars a month, and you're you. It's either you're barely saving anything, or you're probably you're not saving anything. Or fifty thousand a month, you're still not saving anything. There's a rule called seventy thirty, but I'm not talking about this. I just want to show you really quick what would happen when you start when your income minus expenses will equal something meaning when you stop spending everything you have and this is where you at you're gonna be on the green right here see how it alters the more you make money now the more you're gonna have in saving the more you make money the more you're gonna have in saving and uh, just sounds good and everything it's gonna require self-discipline, like I said. But it required a tool. We need some type of tool. We all know that. Probably a lot of people know that. Yeah, if you save money, uh, you will have money in the bank. So, so what? Or some people would say, Mark, if I saved 10% of my income in 10 years, I'll have $100,000 in the bank or a million dollars in the bank. And then who cares? What's the difference? Well, there is a huge difference. And I'm going to, have to be talking about how, what, what, what is the difference. But before that, I believe we all need a tool to make it easy, especially in our industry. You see, the moment you became a, um, an entrepreneur or you, you, you own your own business, now, the reason you became an entrepreneur and you own your own business is because you don't want to follow the rules. And what, what, what are the rules? There are rules saying that you get a job, you get 401k, and that's it. And you get we'll give you health insurance. And you just live one month at a time. By the time you retire, you'll get a half a million dollar 401k, and you're all set. Those are the rules. They're not bad. They're not bad at all. But usually to make good money out of these rules, um, you gotta 
you gotta have a degree that's number one and number two is um uh, you gotta you gotta follow the rules as simple as that so it does it still requires self-discipline but when you become business owner you don't care for these rules you gotta make your own rules right now but if you making so much money and following this orange line right here no matter how much you're making money even if you're selling millions your status is going to be always broke and your financial wall is equal to zero what i mean by financial wall i mean if you have kids if you don't have kids that's good i don't care how old you are right now it doesn't really matter um what matters is you start and making sure your kids have the same mentality it's called philosophy philosophy is not spending everything that you make as long as you're spending every penny that you make you're gonna be this side is gonna equal this side which is equal to zero and your status you're gonna be always be broke so we need to alter this side we need to be on this area right here and the more you make money no the more you have in saving no now you start building your financial wall around you and your family and you'll never be broke you'll become financially independent and when you die if you if you teach this to your kids they'll become financially independent meaning what i mean by financially independent whether you become millionaire multimillionaire or just have half, half a million dollar in the bank whatever it is but what i mean by financially independent that you're not worried about something called a, a job doesn't matter there's money in the bank it's always going to be money in the bank it doesn't you can go to bed every night you'll never make a a decision based on financial you make a decision based on what you want there's a big difference as a lot of people wake up every day go to work a lot of people i'm talking about millions wake up every day go to work because to make money they don't like their jobs uh, especially especially i see this in the public in the government jobs a lot my god man they're they're mad when when they see us showed up oh my god they showed up they just clock in and clock out I'm not saying all of them, but there's a huge percentage in the, in the, in the government jobs, whether at, at the court or at the DMV or at the airport, TSA. It's a problem. And the problem is they just don't like what they do. They're sick and tired of their jobs. And we chose to be become an entrepreneur and open our own business because we don't want to be like them. We don't want to clock in and clock out. We don't. We want to live a good life, but we don't want to be broke either. I don't want to be broke. I want to be financially independent. All right, so let's talk about what VIP is going to bring to your life and how VIP shop management can change your life forever. Let's check it out. So we have something called personal finance right here. It's only going to be available for the admin user, which is the owner. That's it. Nobody can see that except the admin. When you click on it, the first thing you know, it's going to come bring you here. So please do this between you and you. I mean, make sure your employees because it's going to there's some sensitive um, data for you, not for me, for you. The first thing you need to enter is your current net worth and i'm not talking about you own a house or you own a car whatever it is i'm talking about how much money do you have in the bank or even in stocks i'm okay with that but that's it how much what i mean by that if i want to ask you for this money can you bring it tomorrow cash actual cash once you enter that whether you have a zero or you have five thousand dollars doesn't matter just enter it be honest between you and you enter this the second step is estimated taxes how much you, you're estimated just estimate it how much they're charging you i, I like 25 percent because that will be in the middle 
Just leave it like that. Now, how much do you want to save? It's very important how much do you want to save. If you're barely making it every month, then you can you can go as low as 1% and how much do you want to invest? 1%. If you're making good money right now, you should do this savings 25%, investment 5%. Why do I make the saving more than investment? The saving should always be more than investment. Saving is just cash. Investment because whatever you invest in can it could go wrong at any moment. If you go, if you if you put uh, investment more than and it sounds good, but if your investment went wrong, now you're broke again. It's your job. You can play with this ratio as you grow more and more. But as of right now, uh, twenty-five percent and five percent. Like I said, if you're barely making it, then make sure like you can lower this all the way to one percent and then one percent because it's not the amount that matters. What matters is the discipline, you doing it, the action, what matters. It's gonna take a long time for you to learn how to do this because just because you said, yes, I can do it, it's gonna take a discipline. And that discipline is called self-discipline. It has to become as easy as you breathe in. As easy as you breathe in. So let's talk about, let's say I'm gonna be in the middle. Let's say I'm gonna save 10%. And I'm gonna invest 5%. Just make it easy. And I'm gonna, you gotta click I'm ready. If you're not ready for this, just click not ready because you're gonna ruin it for everybody. This rule, the 70 30, was I learned it from uh, my teacher, Jim Rohn. And Jim Rohn learned it from his teacher. This is like the millionaire makers. It's not like the millionaire makers uh, from somebody who was born with a beautiful voice. God help us all. Now we gotta, you know. Uh, move our hands up and down for him I'm talking about self-made millionaires that the people did not have a chance of becoming a millionaire or valuable to the marketplace and by using these rules they did become valuable to the marketplace and become millionaires every millionaire or high middle class they know this rule and they apply it every day every poor person and a poor person in this world most of them don't know about it and even the one who knows about it he cannot apply it because it is hard uh, this uh, the the millionaires they teach this their, to their kids and it's a lot easier for the kids to learn it at first they learn it as early age um, and number two is the kids they never had a problem with they wanted a bicycle and their parents could not afford it uh, or whatever it is that's a big difference so the kids can learn it easily it's a lot easier for, for a rich person to, re, to teach this method uh, versus to teach this method to a poor person because poor, poor person is always in the negative. Uh, you gotta, always got to worry about your teeth and something comes up out of nowhere. I'm not teaching that. It's not for you to save money. It's not for you to save money and use it later on. That's not it. This is not it. Forget about it. This money basically you're never going to use ever. Ever, unless you really have, unless your life is depending on it. It's not for you to use. It's the financial walls for you to protect you from life and evil and all this. For you and your family, you can start it. At least start it. If you want to build, if you're, if you're not, if you're, not, if you're old and you think you cannot build a financial wall for your family, at least start it for them. So they can keep on building it. It's the philosophy that matters here. It's not the amount. It's the philosophy that matters. So assume that you, you only have $5,000 and uh, your estimated tax is 25% and you're saving, you want to save 10% of how much you're making. That's what saving means. Like how much do you want to save? 10% and you want to invest 5%. Investing 5%, you can invest in stocks. It's the easiest way. It's online now. You can sign up with anybody. Do not invest in penny stocks. Invest in the top companies: Apple, Facebook, all these. All right, let's talk. About, let's let's get ready. So I say, if if you are ready, just click I'm ready because this is a commitment. Click I'm ready. Now we're gonna come over here. So it's gonna go by monthly. Um, it's gonna select uh, February 2021, 
you need to do them the month before because January let's go back to January 21 2021 the first question all you have to do is fill up this net income before taxes how much did you make in January before tax so it's really important for you to get this number which you mean you need to do your monthly expenses and you need to do your balance sheet assume that you made fifteen thousand dollars this month fifteen thousand dollars that's before taxes look uncle sam is gonna get his money three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars that's for uncle sam and if the, and and that's what i'm talking about this is you, you need to pay yourself have you ever heard of the term you don't pay yourself what's that mean when you pay yourself the money that you get you should never spend because that's your money you pay yourself if you're making two thousand dollars a month and you think yeah i'm paying myself i made two thousand dollars a month and you spend it two thousand two thousand dollar a month that mean you didn't pay yourself it's not you that's not you paying yourself because the two thousand dollars a month that's expenses you paid the rent you paid the electric bill so you paid everybody and you paid uncle sam and you did not pay yourself when you pay yourself the money that you get you'll never spend ever ever unless your life is depending on it anyway let's go back to this so fifteen thousand dollars the the, the program is going to calculate everything for you that's the beauty of it your taxes is going to be three thousand seven hundred which is just estimated so your net income after taxes is eleven thousand two hundred fifty dollars a lot of people make this mistake including me it's like oh my god i made fifteen thousand dollars now you did not you made eleven thousand two hundred fifty dollars uncle sam gonna get paid there's no way around it you can push it all you want but at the end of the year he's gonna get his money so this is your net income after taxes now this is the beauty of it so if you set your saving at 10 percent from that income you need to take 11 uh, 1100 dollars and 25 11 well, 1125 dollars for your saving this amount you create you open a saving account i'm sure you have one that's what you need to do you put this money on your saving account it's not an option this is a bill this is you pay now you start paying you this is when you start paying yourself one thousand hundred and twenty five dollars man if you're making fifteen thousand dollars a month don't you think that you deserve eleven hundred dollar twenty eleven whatever twelve hundred dollars approximate, approximately a month for you this is your money you will never ever gonna spend so you need to put out of whatever you made each month you need to put eleven hundred and twenty five dollars in the bank for this in a saving account after that this is the best fun part ever 562 dollars you can invest so what you do with this see that you go buy one stock two stock whatever it is go buy stock man enjoy it just enjoy it because it doesn't really your life is not going to depend on this but the beauty of this this could be become worth millions in 10 years or whatever it is or 20 years it doesn't matter it's gonna be it's gonna have beauty you're you're in the you're in the game now when you have investment you're in the game and it's not really affecting your life it's 562 dollars which is what we said five percent five percent and this is the most important number for you right here is your net expenses allowance your net expenses allowance meaning that after you pay after you pay uncle sam and then after you put your savings and after, and after you put your investment now now you can spend any number you want whatever i mean that number right here what i mean i'm, I'm sorry now you can spend that number nine nine thousand five hundred sixty dollars you cannot go over this number doesn't really matter where you spend this on on doesn't matter your rent you go to the strip club you go to the bar does not matter anymore you can spend it all you want like well, well let's say if you're making five grand and you tell me mark three thousand one hundred and eighty seven dollars is not enough for me good that means you need to make 
you need to figure out how to go up in your in your net income so meaning that five thousand not good what about six thousand um it's still not good what about eight thousand all right now we're talking fifty one hundred so that's good so you need to go up in your net income before taxes but the beauty of this, check this out. What if I start making $20,000 a month? Look at this, your net expenses allowance. You can spend $12,000 and $700. Look at this, and you're still saving $2,250. That's the beauty of it. What if I start making $30,000 a month? Look at that. I can spend, if I'm making $30,000 a month, I mean, I definitely, hey, by the way, I definitely, I'll adjust, I should adjust this right here when you're making $30,000 a month, your savings should be 25%, which is, that's what goes with the 70, uh, 70, uh, 30%. Definitely, once you start making, I, I believe once you start making over $10,000, your savings should be 25%, uh, your investment should be 5%. I would never go up on this because it's risky. So let's 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 go back to 25% and 5%. So if I'm making $30,000 a month, check this out. I'm allowed to spend 15,000, almost $16,000. Yeah, look what happened here. I still saved the $6,000, almost $7,000. So the more the the the, the moral of the story, the more you make money, the more you're saving, the more your financial wall will get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. What about if you if you make, let's see, $100,000 a month, which is, I think that's the goal. When you make $100,000 a month, you'll be invest, you'll, you'll be saving between investment and saving $22,000. And you still can spend fifty-two thousand dollars. So what happened? Let's go back to that picture right here. So no matter how much you spend, if you follow this rule, the seventy thirty, you'll never ever be broke. And once you teach it to your children, they'll never ever be broke. That's something, man. All poor people are missing. That's why they're always broke. Always broke. Always broke. When you're always broke, it's always problems comes with it. So anyway, let's see. And then you get a, your actual financial wall, which is a number right here. You can always, you know, calculate that and say, oh, I, what, which means it's like your net worth. Say my net worth is $250,000. Whatever it is, or, or, or 1,000 or 6,000, doesn't matter. Just, just be honest. It's just between you and you. That's it. So if you if your net income before taxes is three thousand dollar, and this is how much you're saving six hundred, that's good. It's not the amount that matters. What matters is doing it. That's what matters. So once you click add, that's it. So every time you're gonna come here, you go to your personal finances, and it's February. It's not done yet. It's January. You gotta keep up one month. You gotta have to do this once a, once a month. Okay. So why my my now my actual financial wall? I like it. <laughs> actual financial wall is ten thousand uh, dollar. When when you do February, or this has to go up. It's not it's not up to you. It's not going up. You're not. It's not going up. That means you're lying to yourself. See, humans can lie, but numbers don't lie. So when you do, let's say, uh, let's say you came in here and and this is February and you you this month you pushed yourself and you sold five thousand dollar, right? And now your your uh, your actual financial wall, which is your net worth, is twelve thousand dollar. That's beautiful, man. We're gonna make a graph at the bottom so you can see the difference is how how your uh, your net worth is going up. It's not the number that matters. I'm gonna repeat that. The ma what matters is the action, doing it. Let's go back. So you, you can see, oh my God, ten thousand dollar. No, it's twelve thousand. That's how you get excited about the game, and yet you're still spending whatever you want, and yet you're still not the guy who's not eating the sandwich or never been to a restaurant or not driving or just driving. Um, uh, 
the Toyota Toyota Prius. No, I don't want. I don't want. And I never wanted to be this guy. And I know every business person don't want to be this guy. Uh, I don't want to drive a Prius. I want to drive an SRT. I want to drive a Hellcat. I want to drive a Ferrari. I want to drive a. You can drive all this if you make sure that you're not on the orange. You're on the green, which means you cannot spend every penny that you make. Which means you need to set up your saving and investment. Anyway, I hope this will help everybody. Um, uh, everybody's using VIP. It's our job in uh, VIP shop management to create tools for you guys to make you successful uh, from business per, uh, perspective to a personal perspective. Uh, we want everybody, I want every VIP user uh, become successful and financially independent uh, no matter what. Uh, following this rule will make you financially independent, will make the whole family, your family financially independent. Um, it's called VIP for a reason. Uh, you're not gonna get this from Shop Monkey or All Data or any of these, man. They don't care because they don't care about you. They never been in your shoes. I have. I still am. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.